Good day and welcome to another session of the Family Equipping Ministry. Last week, we learned about that it is the will of the Lord for the believer not to be drunk with wine. This is part of knowing the way of the new man that is marked by wisdom. Now, this wisdom is seen in the way that a believer who is saved by the finished work of Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and was buried and rose again the third day for our justification, was made the new man and knows exactly what the will of the Lord is, especially as revealed by the scriptures. Now, we have discussed last week the biblical teaching about wine. We continue our study in reading the next part and the next half of our passage in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. It says, And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. So we see that it is the will of the Lord for the believer to be filled with the Spirit. Now, like the will of God, filling of the Spirit is not what many religious groups had made it to be. Filling of the Spirit is not speaking in tongues, rolling on the floor, and appearing to be a madman. No, that is not how the Scriptures show us what filling of the Spirit is. As a matter of fact, what religious groups have done today about filling of the Spirit, making them roll on the floor, foam in the mouth, it's more of a demon possession rather than what the Scripture shows us what filling of the Spirit is. So, what does Spirit filling look like? Now, we would read these descriptions of how a Spirit-filled believer shows it starting in verse 19 and read speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the lord now you heard that right spirit feeling is not speaking in tongues if you would have read it carefully it says speaking to yourselves. Now, that talks about our reflections. Now, what are the content of our reflections? Our passage says, psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Now, the bottom line of those three is that these three are scriptures. Notice, psalms are direct quotations from the scriptures, Hymns are great doctrines from the scriptures. And spiritual songs are testimonies of spiritual truths from the scriptures. Therefore, it is not a surprise that it reads in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, these words, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. So, spirit filling is seen in our reflections in the scriptures. That's number one. Next, another manifestation of being spirit filled is in verse 20. Let's read. Our passage it says giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ spirit filling is seen in our responses gratitude is a spirit filled response now having said that murmurings and grumblings are not spirit-filled expressions. To think of it, you cannot grumble for the glory of God. 
Can you? You cannot murmur to magnify the Lord. Can you? Grumbling and murmuring, they are not spirit-filled responses. But gratitude is. Spirit-filling is seen in our responses. The third manifestation is in verse 21. Let's read it. It says, Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Spirit-filling is seen in our relationships. Now, we will expound more of that in the weeks to come as we look at the house code sections of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to chapter 6, verse 9. So, it is the will of the Lord for the believer to be filled with the Spirit manifesting in our responses, in our relationships, and in our reflections. I pray that you would have a great time discussing these truths with your family. Thank you very much for listening. Do have a nice day and the Lord bless you.